Hello and welcome to my new video, How to Draw a Cup and Saucer. In this video, I'll talk you through step by step one way of drawing a cup and saucer with a silver spoon on the black background. The first stage is to draw the ellipse of the top of the cup. An ellipse is a circle seen on its side. I try and make sure that the left hand side and right hand side are the same and that it doesn't have points at the edges. Sometimes you feel like it might need to, but it never really does. Next, I need to draw the sides of the cup. Again, trying to match the left and right hand side together so that the cup is symmetrical. And now I'll start drawing the saucer, which will be a wider ellipse. At this stage, the lines can be quite rough because we can sort them out later on. They just need to be placed in an approximate position. And now I'm thinking about drawing some lines at the base of the saucer. Now here I just need to erase a few lines just to clear up the drawing at this stage so that I get a thickness and I also need here a thickness to the rim of the saucer. So now I think I need to redefine the base of the cup to make it wider and perhaps nearer to the closer edge of the ellipse and then I'm continuing ellipse through the cup at the to check that it works and I can erase that line later on. So I think I'll do that now and clean up the drawing a little bit so it's just got the lines that I really need so I can see where I am a little bit more. I'm going to redefine this edge here so that I have a thickness to the saucer. So it's going to be quite um, close, two lines which are quite close together to make it quite delicate. But nevertheless there's still a thickness there that needs to be placed in in this linear line drawing. And then just working out what's happening below the top of the saucer, how the second and third ellipses lower down sort of makes sense. Now once I've got these in place, I'm going to add a handle to the cup on the left hand side, just a simple handle, um, looking closely at the cup that I'm drawing from at all stages, so it's an observational drawing, trying to draw what I can actually see. The next step is just to check it, see that not only is it what I can see, but it's also symmetrical. And now I'm sort of thinking about having liming from the left hand side. So I draw a little arrow just to remind myself. And then I'll um, shade in the outside right hand side of the cup and the inside left hand side of the cup. And then shading in any other areas that seem to need it from the observation that I'm doing. The paper I'm using is a grey paper and I'm using a 4B pencil. So I'm trying to find some mid-tones, um, first of all, in the cup and saucer and blocking them in in quite broad, large areas at first. So details, any details or highlights can come later on. So I'm blocking in the basic mid-tones and maybe some darker tones. I think I'll put a spoon in here so that it's a cup and saucer and a spoon. And this, I've got a spoon to look at, which goes at this particular angle. So I'm not trying to make it look like a spoon. I'm just drawing the shape that I see in front of me of the spoon that I'm looking at. I'm just trusting that if I draw what I see, hopefully in the end it will look like a spoon. Although it doesn't look like a spoon that much at the moment. I just raise the line through that and now working back on the um, handle of the cup and then creating some darker tones on the right hand side which will be in shadow. I'm not going to do a shadow on the table because I think I'm going to use some Indian ink to black that out later on. But I'll redefine the spoon and create darker tones at all stages from now on. You can use it just to blend in some of the tonal range. I find that quite useful actually drawing with an eraser to create um, a more blended tonal range. Now later on in this drawing, as I say, I'm going to put some, maybe I'll use some charcoal pencil uh, now because that's going to create a darker tone than the 4B pencil that I had. So I'll keep using this for a while. I'll speed up the video here. And then later on, I'm going to use a soft white pastel to add some highlights to the gray paper that I'm using. And then I'll draw a horizon line so that it has a table to sit on. 
and then I'll use some Indian ink to black out the table surface that it's on. That's about it. I hope you like this video and find it useful for your own drawing. And I hope you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School. Thank you for watching and see you next time.
Thank you.